Krista and Cibarilla. I'm Krista and I make plant-based recipe and lifestyle videos along with DIYs here and there so if that's something you're into consider subscribing and liking this video. So today we are actually gonna start going over getting our lives together. Um, now that we're in 2019 and everyone's trying to get their lives together I figured this was the best time to start doing this because I personally don't know what I want for 2019 yet. It's already halfway through the year, halfway through the month and I'm still trying to debate what I want to do. I know I want to gain more clarity, be more consistent and be more be more disciplined, but I don't know exactly how I want to do that. So, I think after dipping into the magic of tidying up, um, that book, I'll link it below for you guys if you want to look into it. But after I started dipping into that book, I was starting to realize that my life is starting to get very cluttered and um, not very organized and things like that. And it was actually starting to bog down my brain and kind of take my attention away from what I really want to put my attention to. I figured what better time than to try and declutter our lives so we can get the start the new year in a decluttered way so we have more clarity, so we're more organized and things like that. So that's what we're going to do. So Eileen from Lavender is actually the one who I saw doing this and so this challenge is actually inspired by her and all the steps that she took to become more um, together and things like that. So we are going to go through things like um, fixing our sleep schedule. Last month you guys saw that I fixed my morning schedule. Um, in order for you guys to wake up with a more um, refreshed morning and things like that, you need to start your morning the night before. So we're going to go over my night routine and everything I do to um, get my sleep together. Secondly, we're going to go over our habits and self-care. I believe these are very important. They say it takes about 21 days for you to create a new habit. So we're going to go over habits and um, trying to implement more positive habits into our lives. Third, we're going to go over our home. This is something I've been really, really wanting to do and needing to do. Um, I went and decluttered everything, so we're gonna go and just clean our home, make it a more tidy space for us to feel more homely in and things like that. And then we're also gonna go over our digital lives. Um, I think because our digital lives get very cluttered and things like that, um, we're gonna try and declutter that and we're also gonna go through a social media detox. I find myself literally going, sometimes I find myself on the internet for hours, like whether that's on my phone or computer, and I'm just like browsing or trying to do things, you know, and I'm just on social media. And then we're also going to go over our health, how we can um, implement positive things in our health to be better at it. Um, this could include, you know, eating better, getting some workouts in, um, just doing something active and things like that. Then we're also going to go over our clothes and personal items. I want to personally live a more minimalistic life and so I'm going to be decluttering my clothes so I can just have a more um, put together closet and wardrobe and things like that and also get rid of any personal items that I no longer need anymore. Another thing we're going to be working on is our work life and productivity. I have been trying to figure out ways for me to be more productive personally so I'll be sharing a lot of that stuff with you guys. And then lastly we're going to be working on our relationships. So you guys saw um, a couple weeks ago that I have been trying to work on my relationships and I want to continue doing that because I want to have a better foundation when it comes to my relationships. So we're going to start working on that. We're going to start working on our communication with people. We're going to start working on our compassion and just tips and tricks and things like that. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing for the next few weeks or so is getting our lives together. I'll put a link down below if you guys want to sign up for the newsletter so you can be part of this challenge. Basically what's going to happen is anytime I release a new video regarding the Get Your Life Together challenge, it'll be sent to your inbox so you could watch it and implement those things into your lives as well. And then I will also put Eileen's um, playlist down below. She has a whole playlist on her Get Your Life Together challenge so you guys can watch it and get some inspiration. And if you guys do this, um, tag 
um, use the hashtag get your life together challenge or G Y L T challenge so we can look at that and I'll be part of this get your life together challenge community and yeah if you guys haven't already I hope you guys like this video and subscribe if this is something you're into and I'll see you guys next week when we work on our sleeping habits see ya I also forgot to mention that the giveaway is still going on. It doesn't end until the end of the month. So if you want to win one of Lavender's Artists of Life workbooks, um, be sure to follow me on both Instagram and my YouTube channel and comment on my 2018 recap video what your dreams, ambitions, um, goals, or things like that for 2019 are. You only have to answer one of those questions, but if you want to answer all four, those are kudos to you and extra points. So that'll be like total of four points. And you get two points if you actually share the video so yeah enter to win if you want to get your life together and have more structure to it so i'll see you guys next time bye i just want to show you guys something like check this out this is literally what i'm wearing I'm not wearing anything! <laughs>